Yo, what's going on my beautiful governors? Welcome to Spartan Gaming. Today we will do a quick recap of our first week of Season of Conquest, Heroic Anthem as a free-to-play or a low spender. We have one level 6 Bastion and it's Sun Tzu, because his support skill, if you guys didn't know by the way, at level 6, you unlock the support skill of that specific Bastion commander. We have 10% less damage taken and infantry units 10% HP. I have two really important infantry marches, Guan Yu and Leonidas, plus Alex and Harold. So this skill was super important to me, so I went for it first. My next two upgrades will be Belisarius and John of Arc. Belisarius has this oblique tactics, which makes your troops deal 25% increased damage when the target has fewer than 50% units remaining. This is a great skill for uh, something like Azatakeda. Another great thing for Azatakeda is John of Arc, which is the Saint. Uh, normal attack damage plus 25%. An amazing support skill for Attila and Takeda. So right now we only have Sun Tzu, but soon we will also have Belisarius and Joan of Arc. I don't care about the Babers, I don't care about the Herman or Pelagius. So far we have 6 Bastions available and their levels are quite decent. Even though these support skills are not important, the reason why we upgrade those levels is because every single time it increases our Crystal Mine work speed. So the higher the Bastion level, you will produce more crystal in your crystal mine. Since we mentioned about crystal mine, you guys already know it, it's level 25. If you haven't watched our step-by-step -step crystal tech upgrade guide for free to plays and low spender, you should definitely check it out. It's an amazing guide with full of information about how you should spend your crystals, what to upgrade first and what to upgrade next, etc. Card up in the top, definitely go check it out. Now, let's take a look at our technology Right now I'm upgrading my crystal research center. As I mentioned in that video, we only upgrade our crystal research center when we need to, when it's required for a new technology. Right now, let me speed this up and show you where we at when it comes to our technology. I did exactly what I told you guys to do. All level 1, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 1. You all see it, I don't need to read it every single time. This is our technology so far. The reason why I'm upgrading my crystal mine because I want to upgrade my treaties 2 to level 7 and for that I need my crystal research center to be level 20 and this is the reason why I'm upgrading this research center at the moment. In my opinion for free to plays and low spenders we have three different phases when it comes to crystal tech. I don't care about the helps I have a bunch of building speed ups I'm just gonna speed this up but if you don't you should wait for helps first. When you got the 30 helps, then you should use your speed ups. Now the phase number one is unlocking the technology that gives you more crystals. For example, like plunder to get more crystals from Kahar, skillful operation to decrease crystal cost, or three T's to increase crystal earned from the Bastion quest, or the same thing, three T's level one. The first phase is unlocking the skills unlocking the technology that gives you more and more crystals and the second phase will be increasing our war tech and the third the last phase will be maximizing our season coins by upgrading the technology that gives most amount of season coins with the least amount of crystals phase number one is to increase your crystal phase number two is to increase your war tech to be more effective on the open field and phase number two is getting the most amount of season coins that you can and if we take a look at our season coins, our heroic anthem shop, we have 75k season coins so far. I had like around 30k from the previous KVK. I already have a horn of fury. I already have a ring of doom. And I'm thinking about going for a twilight falls because it gives 5% skill damage, but the downside is infantry attack 10%. And I have two very important infantry marches, but the rest of the city skins are just not quite good for my account, for my marches. Well, option 1 is Twilight Falls. My option 2 is, just like I told you guys in the latest video, the accessory video, I might go for a Scholar Saki coin for my Guan Yu, or I might go for a Vengeance for my Tatakeda, or even Alex and Harold. What should we do? Should we go for a Scholar Saki coin, or a Vengeance, or just keep saving? for Twilight Falls or maybe for a better skin in future. Lilith might update this shop. I don't want to buy legendary sculptures or equipment materials chest. They said in the latest patch notes that they will decrease the prices of these two items. So I don't want to buy these. 
I will either save for a city skin or go for an accessory. We have also collected 29 Kahars bone missiles so far. As I told you in the Crystal Tech video, I'm not using them because before I use them, I want to get my Plunder 2 to level 7. When it's level 7, I will summon a bunch of Kahars and I will chain them with my Richard and YSG to use the least amount of action points as I can. And a quick tip is about training quests. Many of you guys probably know there are some Bastion quests that requires you to do a certain amount of training. And when you guys do that, always try to train T5 if you have it unlocked because T5 gives you most amount of points for those quests. But the thing is, you don't want to train any T5. You want to follow the meta. You want to know what your kingdom is going to use when they rally, when they garrison. To me, right now, the meta is all about Nevsky. And that's why for all those training quests, I'm keep training extra cavalry. Because I know for sure that there will be lots of Nevsky rallies and I want to keep feeding my T5 cavalry for those rallies. Also, I want to talk about my open field marches very quickly. Right now, I have my Guanyu and Leonidas, Alex and Harold, Attila and Takeda, and for my fourth march, I might use Charles and YSG. I'm not 100% sure yet because since he's not expertise, he doesn't have the extra march speed, so he's super slow. Probably I will use it at the start and then I will decide if I should keep using it or not. And I haven't maxed my Herald yet. I have the sculptures but I don't want to max him yet. Because in two weeks we will have a new Herald Wheel of Fortune. I want to get as many sculptures as I can in that Wheel of Fortune. And then I will use my legendary sculptures to fill the rest. So our Herald won't be maxed for the first pass opening. So this was the quick season of Conquest week 1 recap. We did the Bastion quest. We farmed some crystals, we upgraded our technology that gives more crystals like we are going to work on Treaties 2 and Plunder 2 very soon. We kept training cavalry for those training bastion quests because I think we will need lots of cavalry because of Nevsky. And of course at the same time we are slowly trying to grind some honor. Hope you guys liked it, hope you guys find it useful and informative and if you did a simple like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. I see you on the next one. Bye.